Does she get cold feet every time you get emotionally close to her? Was she love bombing you last week and breaking up with you this week? And even though you know you'll probably be back together by next week, you're still in a deep state of anxiety, grief, and emotional distress. You're not ready to give up on her yet, but you can't take much more of this hot, cold, push, pull, I'm staying, I'm leaving, she loves me, she loves me not. I'm Lisa Blanc, therapist, author, and life coach, and in today's video, I'm talking about 10 ways to respond when she is pulling away from you so that you can put an end to this destructive approach avoidance pattern or at least significantly decrease the frequency and intensity of it. If these responses and strategies don't work, there may be a deeper seated issue such as a personality disorder, complex trauma, or a serious attachment issue. In this video, I am using the pronoun she because I find there's just not enough resources geared to men, but these strategies apply to anyone in any type of intimate re relationship regardless of gender or sexuality. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, so number one, call it out gently. If you've identified that there is a push-pull pattern, it's not the first or second time you've experienced it, Calmly let her know that you're seeing this pattern. Ask her if she wants to talk about it. If she denies that she has walls up or that she's pushing you away, don't argue. Just let her know that you'd like to talk about it when she's ready to. Be supportive in your approach. Not aggressive, not pushy, not confrontational. Don't be all up in her face letting her know what you need. Instead, recognize that one, she may not realize what she's doing or why she's doing it. Two, if she knows, she might not have the ability to talk about it or manage it. And three, the harder you push her to tell you what's going on, the bigger the threat you become. At a minimum, if you call it out and she is doing this intentionally as a manipulation tactic, now she knows that you're onto her. And if it's unintentional, you will create some awareness and hopefully a sense of safety for her to talk to you about it. Before I go any further, let me just say that you'll need to use your own judgment when applying these strategies because, you know, based on where you're at in your relationship, uh, it may not make as much sense for a brand new relationship as it would for a 20-year relationship and vice versa. And it also depends on whether she pushes you away completely ending things with you or if she distances herself emotionally without leaving physically. Okay, so number two, don't be a fixer. If she's pulling away, don't get frantic and start desperately trying to fix whatever you think is causing her to push you away. Her push may have nothing to do with you. She may just need to regroup and process her thoughts and feelings. She may be scared and that's not for you to fix. That said, if you actually said or did something to cause her to push you away, address it, apologize, and give her some space if she's not ready to talk about it or forgive you. If she does want to talk about why she is pulling away, don't go straight into problem solving. Instead of jumping in with solutions, just listen. Let her know that you are hearing her and considering what she's saying. Check for accuracy. Ask open-ended questions. Be non-judgmental. Number three, don't get baited. Yes, be open to hearing what she is experiencing, including things that you may have done to create some disconnection. But if her MO is to launch attacks on you while she's dysregulated or in the devaluation stage, don't get baited into arguments or long drawn out conversations. Any defense or counter attack when she's in this state will quickly escalate things intensify and strengthen her fears or other negative emotions. So calmly step away, letting her know that you'll be ready to continue the conversation once you've both had time to regroup mentally and emotionally. Now she may not like this, that's okay. You're allowed to have boundaries. Number four, when she pulls away, you will likely feel rejected, abandoned, and you might start putting up your own defense mechanisms. You may reactively start pulling away too. I personally believe that a slight pushback on your part is appropriate in some circumstances. For example, if she breaks up with you, 
then starts texting you a day later, it's okay to be slower to respond and not jump in too deep right away. Don't send the message that you were sitting at home crying, waiting for her to come back around, even if you were. So just to be clear, I'm not talking about deliberately giving her the cold shoulder or ignoring her messages. All I'm saying is don't reward her for pushing you away and don't be punishing her either. Because I assume that if you are still in this relationship, a big part of you believes that her push-pull pattern is not a deliberate manipulation tactic being used to harm you. Number five, examine the underlying reason. So is there an unresolved issue that needs to be addressed? Is she pulling away for the same reason each time? If so, is this issue resolvable? And why hasn't it been resolved? If it's unresolvable, for example, she has a severe personality disorder and is refusing treatment, then you can't fix it. If she's complaining that your kids are horrible monsters and she can't stand them, you can't fix it. So you need to ask yourself, how long are you going to go around and around the same loop, getting the same results? Number six, do not submit. I get that you're emotionally distressed and that one smile, one touch, one word from her can make you feel better. But think about the power that you are giving um, to her if you do submit. What do I mean by submit? What I mean is that you're always the one that has to compromise and sacrifice on your wants and needs. Or you're always the one to apologize and take full responsibility for everything that goes wrong. Or you're giving her everything she wants just to get her rewards back. Recognize when you are attached to a pattern rather than to a person. If you're addicted to the rewards you get when she pulls you in and find yourself working really hard to avoid her punishments or the withdrawal symptoms you get when she pushes you away, then you need to work on releasing your attachment to the responses you get from her. You know, you might think there's only one woman in the world for you. And that makes her your be all end all. And that's too much pressure for anyone. It becomes suffocating and scary. And your submission will cause her to lose respect for you. And you'll lose your own self-respect. Number seven, if she keeps pulling away from you despite you taking healthy measures to communicate and stay connected, then take a moment to honestly ask yourself if your adult needs are being met. The push-pull cycle is a pattern of intermittent reinforcement whereby you don't win or get rewarded all of the time, but you get just enough wins and rewards to make you feel like you've got a chance to win big. And it keeps you in the game even when your losses start to outweigh your wins. So don't wait 20 years, don't wait till you lose everything to take a rational look at your situation. Number eight, if she's pulled away completely and wants nothing to do with you, she's ghosted you, she's gone no contact, she's told you, I don't want to see you or hear from you again. Stop trying to get through to her. When someone makes it clear that they don't want a relationship with you, then stop trying to read into it, stop trying to bump into them, just don't be that guy. Because even if you did get her to come back, your desperation will disgust her. She'll have zero respect for you and she'll know that she can throw you away and pick you back up anytime she wants while you get more and more addicted, unbalanced and lose all your power. Number nine, along similar lines, if she breaks up and tells you that she wants to be friends but you're totally in love with her, don't agree to it. Allowing yourself to be friend zoned when that's not the relationship you want with her, that is a true catch 22 because you will either one, invest a lot of time and energy into a relationship that ends up going nowhere while being endlessly confused, desperate, and heartbroken, or two, you'll betray her trust by breaching her boundaries and becoming an even bigger threat. So don't pretend to suspend your true wants, needs, desires, and intentions, then wait for her to let her guard down and then, you know, push your own agenda and push her boundaries at every opportunity you get. 
This will be experienced as an emotional betrayal. And even if she does recommit to you for a while, it won't be long until she sees you as a major threat again and starts pushing you away. So instead of allowing yourself to be friend zoned, which in my opinion is one of the worst possible positions to be in if you're in love with someone, be honest, let her know that you want to need more and that you're not able to put romantic feelings aside just yet. Be honorable, unfriend yourself and back off. Um, let her feel the loss. Don't be there to cushion and support her while she finds someone else. Don't make it easy for her by letting her know that you're always going to be there waiting for her. Don't let her pause you whenever she wants. Number 10, don't chase. Now, this might be the most important advice. No matter how badly you want her, no matter how much you may believe she's your soulmate, the only woman in the world for you, the most unique person you've ever met in your entire life, if you have to chase someone, if you have to convince her of your value or why she should want to be with you, she will never see you or treat you as worthy of her. And if she breaks up with you, don't reach out. You know, don't reach out um, through your friends, commenting, liking, showing constant signs that you're still thinking about her, that you're there waiting. Don't make any direct efforts to con contact her by text, email, or whatever. Staying away gives her a chance to realize what she's losing and to reflect on whether she wants to lose this. It allows her to make some adjustments and it shows her that you have standards in terms of how you will be treated and in what you believe you deserve. Unless you want a relationship with someone who is settling with you and not really excited about being with you, who doesn't respect your value or love you as much as you love them, then you owe it to yourself to walk away. Now, maybe you want to prove to her that you are worthy of her love, that you can protect her, provide for her, make her feel safe, love her unconditionally. But if she continues to push you away, then she has some deep-seated issues. But you also have a serious one if you are chasing someone who doesn't feel the same way about you, who has no interest in fighting for you, I realize it's hard to detach from the person you thought was your perfect soulmate, but you deserve more than a lukewarm, one-sided relationship. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and to find out the top 10 reasons for pulling away, click on the link above.